I made a script by the way. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Alexia and welcome to my first video. I hope this video isn't as awkward as I think it is right now. I keep looking into my viewfinder. What I really wanted to focus on today, especially starting off my channel on a very positive note, is that anything that you're dealing with in life will be okay. Honestly, if you're dealing with anything difficult right now, you'll get through it and I'll give you a list of reasons and personal experiences to show you why that'll be a true statement. What really gets me through a hard time is reminding myself that everyone is just as stressed, upset with the world, or even miserable as you might be from time to time. If you watch the movie, what's it called? If you watch the movie, The Edge of Seventeen, Haley Steinfeld's mom says, everyone in this world is just as miserable as I am, but others are just better at hiding it than other people. I paraphrased that quote, but moral of the story, everyone is struggling just as much as you are. You just gotta find your own way to move through it. There's so much more to life than dwelling on any hardship. The second thing that I think that everyone needs to be reminded of is that no matter who, someone will always be there for you, no matter what. And I'm literally talking about teachers, friends, neighbors, cousins, anyone, even people on Omegle. I don't know, I don't quote me on that. You might find some creepy people there. But there will be someone there who wants to care for you. And I learned this the hard way. I'm not saying that everybody wants to care for you. I wish the world was like that. But that's not the case. Some people are just not as sympathetic as others. When you find those people who really want to care about you, you gotta keep them in your life and honestly just cherish them. Do you know that quote where people are like, oh, the people who you go into high school with are not the people you're gonna come out with in high school? I don't know if you heard that, but I found that to be the opposite. <laughs> like, the people who I went into high school with, that group, we've stuck together. It's been almost five years. Wait, since grade nine to first year uni, I think that's five years. Lesson learned that people who want to be there for you in your life will help you and you're not made to fight alone in this world. Number three, that three. <laughs> Number three, you must make the best out of every situation in your life. I can name so many things in life that make me so miserable, but I don't choose to spend every day focusing on that. I wanna focus on being happy, successful, being the bigger, better person who I never thought I was going to be. And there is going to be no one else in life to motivate you to do those great things that you want to do except for yourself. So why not just focus on yourself and not on others? Number four that I want to address is definitely more harder said than done. And that is to not listen to what other people have to say. If you train yourself to understand that at the end of the day, only your opinion matters, the people who want to be in your life will still be with you in your life no matter what you do. That, what was I saying? If you just focus on the fact that only your opinion matters and that at the end of the day, that you are your own person and you are only capable of doing the great things you want to achieve, that will get you through so many bad situations. I promise you that, okay? I promise you. No matter how hard it is, that is just such a valuable life lesson I've learned in high school and something that I will now carry with me for the rest of my life. And you know, it's a great thing to keep in mind. People's opinions do kind of matter to me still, but it won't affect my emotions, of course, because I just want to say that people are more focused on themselves than they are focused with you. You are just a topic. 
if you're ever brought into someone's conversation or they're like saying bad things about you, you're just a source of entertainment basically. People just want to use you to talk about you and what can you do? That's just how people want to be. People will judge you, people will say mean things, but you gotta remember, you make mistakes, you will never be perfect, other people will never be perfect, and you just gotta move on with life. Last but not least, the best pieces of advice that I've ever heard is that you have the choice to be happy. I remember last year back in grade 12, during a time when I was just so sad one day, when I felt like everyone hates me and everything. And I just want to say, not everyone hates you. It may feel like that, but like I said, no one really cares about your situation. You're just a topic of interest, whatever, for like 10 seconds or like 3 minutes, whatever. You have the choice to be happy, okay? There is no one telling you in your life that you need to be sad, you need to be miserable. Okay, my camera literally just died right now. But what I do want to say is that life is all about learning from experiences and moving on from the past to make you a stronger person. And if you choose to dwell on whatever situation has happened to you in the past, so be it. You're not going to be you're not going to be a stronger person. You're just going to be a sad person for the rest of your life. And on the other hand, you have the choice to be happy. And I 100% believe that being happy is such a better feeling than being sad. I just want to say that if you're ever dealing with anything whatsoever, please contact me, tweet me, IG, message me. I will reply, okay? I love giving people advice. I love making people happy. I just think that nobody deserves to be sad. Everyone makes mistakes and nobody is perfect. I truly 100% believe that. So <laughs> the lighting, it's getting really dark now, but thank you so much for watching. I hope to make more videos soon. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, rate, and subscribe. I hate how cliche that is, but if you like this video, I'll try my best to make more. I hope it helps someone too. So without further ado, bye. I'll see you sometime soon. I don't know what my next video will be, but we'll see.